Samsung. And we want to take a look at how Samsung plans to stay ahead of the pack. CNN Money's Adrian Covert got his hands on the new Galaxy, and here he is literally going through the motions. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4. It's Samsung's biggest and best phone of the year, and as such, they've stuffed it full with all the best features you've come to expect from one of their top products. It has a 5-inch screen with a full 1080p display. It has a pixel density of 441 pixels per inch, which is about as good as you're getting in a smartphone. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 13 megapixel camera, and your choice of 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of storage. It also comes with Jelly Bean 4.2, which is the latest version of Android. But one thing Samsung isn't discussing yet is what it has for a CPU, which they say will vary from region to region. Going into some of the features, uh, Samsung is putting a lot of emphasis on their camera this time around. And as such, they've given it some neat tricks. Take a photo, and if somebody walks through it that you don't want in the shot, uh, you have the ability to erase it. Um, there's also an action shot mode, which will do sort of time-lapse photography. It also has the ability to make cinemagraphs, which are you know animated GIFs that sort of have style, and you can freeze everything around the image except for the moving part. So you have the ability to make some really cool sort of photos with this. Another big area of focus with the phone is its navigational tricks, a lot of which uh, sort of read off of your eyes to tell if you're engaged or not engaged with the phone. Um, one thing it can do is when you are staring at the phone, it will know, and then you can tilt your phone up and down and it will scroll what you're reading, whether that's a web page, email, a book. Uh, it will scroll up and down as you tilt it, and then when you look away, it won't. So uh, that's sort of a neat addition. The other thing it has the ability to do is when you're watching a video, if you look away, it will pause the video automatically, and then when you stare at the screen again, it will detect that and start playing again, which is good if you're, you know, the distracted multitasker type. It also has some of the same tricks that other Samsung products have recently had, including an IR blaster so you can use the phone as a remote control, and uh, the hover feature, which allows you to sort of move your finger very close to the screen without touching it, and it will give you a preview which has been seen in devices like the Galaxy Note products. But unlike those where you had to have the stylus, this time around you can just use your finger. So that's a definite improvement. Another thing Samsung is looking at is the idea of motion and gesture-based control, which lets you navigate through something like a web page using a wave of a hand. And while it technically works, it seems like it's more of a hassle than a benefit to actually use it.